Jack Sterling, welcome to LARP Mix. I go online a lot and I look for items to add to my LARP costuming kit uh, to sort of keep it fresh every year. And I was looking for some cloaks, but I happened to stumble across something that is just incredible. And as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it and I knew that I had to share it with all of you. I found this on a website for a company called Crisis Wear, which we'll talk about in a minute. But it is a cow. And of course it's black. Um, and to me when I saw this, because I primarily play medieval fantasy type games, this just screamed to me. Um, Rogue, Thief, which is the type of characters I usually play. So when I saw this, I knew it was something that I had to have and share with all of you. It looks like a pretty simple thing, but because of its versatility and because of the different ways you can wear it, it can really fit a lot of genres and a lot of different applications. So this is something you can wear with the hood up, down, up, down. You can put it all down, all up, whatever you want to do. You can wear this outside of a garment if you want an industrial type look. You can wear it under a garment if you're just looking to add this effect to a costume. So this, to me, applies itself across so many different spectrums because for me I was looking for something that was medieval fantasy because it's not historically accurate or anything this would fit in just fine uh, anything that is cyberpunk near future modern uh, dystopian this would fit in right out of the box something that's post-apocalyptic I mean it requires a little bit of you know, work, a little bit of weathering and stuff, but it fits there as well. But this is something, since winter's coming up in my area, I can just throw this on when I go out and I want to sort of, you know, not have to deal with anybody. So this is just an awesome, versatile item, and I can't see enough good things about this product or the company. Let me go ahead and put it on so you can see what it looks like, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. And this is what it looks like. So, as you can see, you know, it looks really cool. You can wear it multiple different ways. So you can wear it with <clears throat> everything up. If you need to lean in to talk to someone in secret, you can have just the hood up. If it's too hot, you can take it all down. If you need to quickly conceal your identity for some reason, you can pop this up, <clears throat> look like a highwayman, <laughs> whatever you want to do with it. Um, it's just so versatile and you can do so much stuff with it that I f that's why I fell in love with it. When I saw this on the website, I saw all the different ways you could wear it. I knew for a thief or rogue character in a medieval style fantasy game, this is a must have. And um, I just can't say enough good things about it. The company that makes it, Crisis Wear, also a phenomenal company. Everything that they make is 100% handmade in the US by their artist. They ethically source all the fabrics, um, this item, you know, the fabrics they choose, this is like a rugged cotton twill, it's reinforced stitching. This item, when you feel it, when you feel the weight to it and stuff, you know that it's a durable item, and this thing's gonna last forever. Uh, even through the, the rigors of LARP combat, this thing is gonna survive. Um, I actually have concerns that when I go to distress this a little bit to sort of get all of my, my shades of my costume to match, that I'm gonna have a hard time distressing it because it is so well uh, built. It's not something that came off of a, an assembly line by a machine. You know, one of their artists actually hand sewed just put this together and you know, just made it the awesome thing that it is. And I really can't wait to wear this to uh, LARP next season because the versatility of it, you know, I'm definitely wearing it to my uh, medieval fantasy games and also I'll probably wear it to my vampire games and I do some post-apocalyptic stuff too and I may wear it there as well if I can figure out a way to distress it. But this is something that's just so cool, like it's coming up on fall and winter. I may just very well wear this outside when I go shopping. Um, they want you to wear face coverings anyways, right? So I can just wear this. Um, so just the multitude of ways you can wear this and the genres it covers and the uses for it are just amazing. Um, Crisis Wear, the company that makes this, if you check them out, crisiswear.com, they make so much cool cyberpunk and industrial stuff. Um, if you still have a scene in your area for any goth industrial type stuff, you definitely should check out their website because everything they sell on there is just really, really amazing. Um, if you're just doing the LARP thing, you still need to check them out because even though it's geared towards a cyberpunk industrial, 
sort of crowd. Something like this worn under the garment where you can't see the elastic and the straps. Medieval fantasy, no problem. A lot of the stuff they sell I feel could translate into medieval fantasy. Definitely everything that they sell, cyberpunk industrial, uh, near future, dystopian, modern, post-apocalyptic, vampire, all kinds of games can fall under the stuff just as it comes out of the package. With a little bit of distressing and weathering, you can make it fit the genre that you need to. And that's why I love this. And this item, I knew I had to share it with all of you, my viewers, because it's just so versatile. I don't know that I can say that word enough. Whether you do cosplay or costume or, or stage plays, um, this is something that is just like a scarf. You know, the versatility of it is just, it's something you have and you can just throw on with anything. No matter what you're doing or where you're going, you just add it on as an accessory and it looks great and does all these cool things that you want it to do. And the company, like I said, great people uh, doing great things. When they send you the package, I mean, they send this to me, it even comes in a black envelope. So it's like just everything they do has this air of like sort of cool and lends itself to that cyberpunk sort of industrial uh, type of uh, view. And I really like that about the company and everything that they have on their site. So definitely check them out, crisisware.com. This item is the Rogue Cow Mark II. I definitely suggest checking this out. The price point's great on it. The durability is phenomenal. When you get this, you will not be disappointed uh, in the quality or craftsmanship of this item. It is just, this thing, this thing's gonna last forever, um, no matter what I do to it. It will definitely withstand the rigors of LARP uh, combat, no problem. So if you like this review, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you haven't already, let everyone that you know know about this channel and these awesome reviews and these cool items that I'm bringing to you that you may not have otherwise found on your own. And just uh, really spread the word. Uh, I'd like to reach as many people as I can, show them all these cool products and get them uh, all the LARP information that they need. And really, I appreciate you watching the channel. Uh, of course, as always, adventure on.